Sig Yodel. See you tomorrow for your next test. Dot dot dot. I hate them. I hate them so much. I'll make them all pay. They're my puppets. During the next test, that'll be my chance. You'll pay! You'll pay! You'll all pay for what you've done! Don't you get it? He has temporary control over more than three dozen people. If I was tormenting someone like that, there's no way I'd ever let my victim have that kind of control over me. Now, we know how they got the devices and how they're cheating. We should probably stop them. Da -da -da. But they deserve to suffer a little first. The next day. Not another test! Chill out! It's not as if we have to take it! Yeah, you're right about that! <laughs> hey, singing noble! Hurry up and get ready! The test's about to start! Dot dot dot! Signable? No! Huh? What do you mean, no? I'm through with doing what you say. Uh. Look, you're not taking a test today. You're doing something else. Hey yo, deathmatch time! What's the heck, our classroom? Huh? Everyone's standing up, but the bell hasn't rung yet. The test isn't over yet, right? Hey, what are you doing? The test isn't finished! What? Arrgh! I'm hitting the teacher! Damn it, Ryuji, that's what I was afraid of. Hey, what are you doing that for? I'm not! My body's moving by itself! What the? We're all holding knives? What are we going to do? Stop! Stop this right now! No! Please stop! STOP! Oh, Danganronpa blood? This just turned into Danganronpa, okay. I'm here for it. Oh no. Dot dot dot. No, we couldn't have. What's going on? We've gone out of the classroom and started climbing the stairs. What is this? You should know. You're the ones who made me use this tool. What? Weren't you taking the test for us? Yeah. I was controlling your bodies and taking the test. Then I thought I'd do a little experiment and figure out how much control I have over you. Didn't the thought ever enter your minds? If I can make you write the answers, what else can I make you do? No way! Hey! We're going up to the roof! The roof? Is Shigenoba making us do it? Oh, they're not even talking about it. Okay, I see what you did there. Hey, Shigenobu! Stop! This isn't funny! Look! You're all climbing over the railings, one after the other. Such a neat row of students. Watch closely. You look like crazy lemmings, don't you think? Who wants to go first? I know! 
Let's go in alphabetical order. Abyss first. No, go away, Shinonobu. Please stop. Three, two, one. Jump. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, th this got dark fast. This is basically like the equivalent of a school shooting. My body, it jumped off the roof. Now, for the next ten, here goes. This is getting boring. Now, for the rest of you. Dot dot dot. There, that didn't take too long. You've all jumped off the roof. Uh, are we dead? Yep, dead as dodos, all of you. How do you like that? I bet you wish you didn't push me around so much now. You don't like it when I push back, do you? This is my revenge. The teacher and all of you are dead. You're lying! We're still here, right? Hey, I, I can't look out. You have no body to go back to. And I created this cyberspace. If I delete it, you'll disappear forever. <laughs> Feel better now. Question mark. Who are you? Hackers, your teacher hired. We've come to confiscate the moles. You've had your fun. We enjoyed the show. I didn't. Damn you, Ryuji. That, that's some twisted tastes. I know you are more like the revenge kind, but still. Ugh. That was icky. I'd been wondering just how much that tool is capable of. The show. Dot, dot, dot. As an impartial third-party observer, though, I have to say, it was a very cowardly act. C cowardly Getting revenge in a way that, that didn't give them the chance to fight back. Cowardly is definitely the word. Uh, that wouldn't really be my problem with that. You certainly don't try to give someone you take revenge on the chance to fight back. That's literally the point of revenge. You punish them for a slight against you. It's not supposed to be a fair fight. No one could respect you for doing something like that. I mean, I certainly don't respect you, Nobu, but not because of that. And what do you know? You don't get it. They pick on me every single day, tormenting me and making fun of me. You could never understand what it's like to have people laughing at you and hitting you. I had to do it. No one understands my pain. That's why I did what I did. They all deserved it. Now, even you're making fun of me. I'll make you jump off a roof just like them. Okay, he's officially lost it. He can use Digimon too? Oh, it's just a Greymon. You don't see oh no, it's a lot more than that. Okay, hmm, hmm. What do we even have? A data type and two vaccines. I need to get rid of the data type first. So system on CL, Fury Fire on Metamon. Fire! 
and no. Spiking Strike. Hmm, Gargamon can't really do anything, so I'll swap Gargamon out for Wormmon. SP left. Hmm. Still enough. Always appreciate an attack break field. Okay, now change from Stingmon to Lilymon and System on CL to Togemon. Yay, Lilymon takes the field for the first time. And immediately gets blasted by a fireball. What a welcome. Okay, Lilymon, show me what you can do. Plant cannon. Ha! Get wrecked. Hmm, press and leave two. He doesn't really have anything better, so sticking at it is. And we even got the speed down, nice. Mm -hmm. Can try Gaia Element 2 as well. Oh, it's even more powerful. Yay! Victory animation. Do you feel better this time? I wasn't making fun of you. I'm impressed by your determination. But you went about it all wrong. Surely you know that better than anyone. I do. I should feel better, but I just feel regret. What have I done? I've killed people. Lots of people. <laughs> Crying will make it better, you murderer! Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Oh no. Yeah, what he did was wrong, but you have no right to blame him, blame him. you deserved it. Damn, KSK savage! Nah, I'm not saying that. That would be indirectly condoning what happened here, and that's not okay. Then arrest him or something. But what made him do it? Don't pretend you don't know why he did it. Dot a dot. Huh, we know. We don't need you to say it. We've been bullying him and pushing him around for so long. It's only natural that he hates us. I'm sorry, Shigenobu. I... I'm sorry too. I never wanted this to happen. It looks like you've all learned your lesson. Okay, Keisuke. Now. What do you mean now? I thought you were supposed to do something. Oh crap. <laughs> no, that would be the alternate reality. Area network restored. You can log out now. Go back to school and take the test properly. But how? Aren't we... dead? What you saw was w one of Shigenobu's memories. Memories aren't just a log of things that have actually happened. I extracted the fantasy of what he was planning to do to you, converted it to data and recreated it in cyberspace. You can do that, Ryuji? Oh my god, 
This this world just gets crazier and crazier. I, I would never want to log into Eden if that was, was what could happen to me. This is basically inception level of privacy theft. You're not really dead. You're sitting at your desks in the classroom while Mr. Matsuyama keeps an eye on you. Converted it to data? But how? Only a top hacker could do something like that. Of course, it's impossible to access people's memories in Eden. But there's a brief window when new memories you've just created can be copied before they're saved on the server. Luckily, you've been thinking about your plan over and over again for the last few days. I just waited for that window and took the data. Oh, so he basically fished it on its way to the, like, secured data banks of Eden. Then I just recreated it in cyberspace to match your inputs. It took a lot of time to adjust the data, because there were fantasies and not memories of things that actually happened. The images were fuzzy. We stayed up all night doing it, and legally it's a grey area. Basically, it was a lot of work. None of it was real? How do you know how to do that? And how do you even know how memory data works? Who are you people? One of our hackers has a special talent when it comes to memory data. Oh, so Erika helped. Yeah, that makes sense. But we couldn't log out. I temporarily cut this whole area off from the network. You couldn't log out because the signal was too weak. So, I'm alive? What a relief! I hope this makes you think about how you behaved. If this was real, you wouldn't have a second chance like this. I get it. I won't do anything like that again. And we're also arresting your father. No, that would be nice, but apparently not. Or maybe. And you're going to tell us everything about how you and your father got the moles. Names, places, everything. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. So, so I haven't killed anyone? Exactly. It was all virtual. If I feel this bad, even though it was just virtual, how would I feel if I had really killed them? You've been through one hell of a simulation. Thank you for stopping me. No problem. By the way, I told your teacher about all this. He's got a message for you. After apologizing to Shigenobu, you will all take makeup tests for all subjects. If anyone is caught cheating, everyone will repeat the third grade. What? What do you mean, what? I'd say he's being lenient. I guess makeup tests and repeating the third grade are nothing compared to being dead. Yeah, right. I'll try my best to do it on my own this time. And good luck to you too, Shigenobu. Thanks. That case was a lot of trouble, and I made Erika do something that might not be entirely legal. Huh. Huh? How did I know Erika could manipulate memory data? Didn't she tell you? Her memory data has been moved to an Eden server. Her brain is an actual server itself. She adjusts her own memory data. That's why she knows how it works. She'd always been a great hacker because of me, but after her accident and being treated by Kamishiro, she actually suppressed me. Oh, it's nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Dot dot dot. Have you ever heard of the brain in a vat hypothesis? Yep. It posits that the world you see is a virtual world, that your brain shows you just like Eden. Question mark? I can't really explain it properly, but... For Erika, the memories here in Eden are her. For me too, the digitized Erika is the real her. 
When you think of it like that, maybe the virtual murders Shigenobu just committed are actually no different from killing people in real life. Dot dot dot. Okay, so they aren't going to expand on the brain and the vat theory? Okay, then let me just place my controller to the side and uh, try to explain it to you. So, basically it goes back to the fact, it's not really a theory, that your brain, what, what you see, what you feel, what you smell, what you hear, it's, etc. is really just your brain interpreting stimuli that are like fed into it, right? So how could you tell the difference between artificially feeding you information or like the real world just generating information, right? So everything you see isn't really there in that sense. It's basically just what your brain makes of it. For example, we can't see certain wavelengths of light that and that a dog can see. Doesn't mean they aren't there, right? So our brain can't really interpret those signals. The real world is more than what you just see. And yeah, it goes a little bit into that Matrix thought as well, where in the Matrix or in Plato's like theory, there are stimuli being fed into into people's brains or people's minds that are constructing reality around you. What you see as reality is constructed always. So you couldn't really tell the difference, right? If your brain was just hooked up to some cords that feed them, like, yeah, touch data, my voice right now, right? So, yeah, that's a sort of scatterbrained overview over the brain and the VAT theory. And I think there was also some philosopher connected to it. It wasn't Bentham? Bentham was utilitarism, right? But... Bentley, I think? Uh, there was at least one philosopher that says, okay, how could you know that the world exists outside of what you sense? Basically, if you look at a chair and then turn around, how could you still know that the, that the chair exists behind you? It basically is a refutation of object permanence and is actually used as the basis for video games. In video games, often objects or the world that you don't look at isn't really loaded in. So as soon as you turn the camera in a video game, the world actually spawns in. It isn't there while you don't look at it. And that's the same thought with... I, th I think it was Bentley, right? Maybe I can look it up and put it on screen right now, but I don't know if I, I can still find it, because that's something from my school days. Hmm. So yeah, <laughs> after that little tangent, let me take a gander at the time, and yeah, we are coming up to an hour. But for those who like to stick around, I'll take a small gander at the Digilab and look and see if there are any new updates over here. Nope, the training is still going on for a little while longer. And can we digivolve somebody? No, no, no. Yes, Wormmon. Yeah, we couldn't go over here since we need Cam 100 and finish the game first. So Kuwagamon it is since it's still grayed out. So at least we unlock it as a digivolution that we can go back to. Wormmon digivolves to... Kuwagamon. The big red beetle. Which looks surprisingly similar to, to its neighbor. Yeah, we have exceeded party memory, but... Oh yeah, I need to move it out of here. But I want to take a quick look at Kuwagamon and where it can go. Cherrymon, Okuwamon, and Cannon Beamon. All three of those we have never at least had in our party since they are all grayed out. Hmm. Yeah. Decent choices, decent choices. K 
Okay, but who can we get into our team now? Kodomon. Kodomon is the only option. Hmm. Nice. In that case, Kodomon is not max level and we don't have anyone at max level here either. Yeah. Then, this is going to be it for episode 22. I hope you ladies and gents enjoyed. And yeah, after this Debbie Downer of an episode, I hope you will still take a chance on this LP and I'll see you again next time. Until then, I guess.